It's May 2010, 50 years since the first rallies, and yet hundreds of people from all over the country have come to Skegness to show off their scooters, despite the typical British weather. Many of these people have been coming here for years, enjoying a niche lifestyle that lets them get away from the hassles and worries of daily life, and spend the weekend dancing to the songs they love. Riding the scooters they love. And spending time with the people they've known for years. Scooter rallies and events are organised all over the country, but we came to Skegness to see what it had to offer the enthusiasts of today. Set out over three days, there are many smaller events that make up the whole weekend. These include the custom show. This is where owners enter their scooters into a hard-fought competition, judged by the event organisers. Then there's the gigs, hosted at a number of clubs and pubs around Skegness, boasting the finest talent in ska music and northern soul from around the country. And finally, the ride out, which sees all the riders taking their scooters on a round trip through the town, a mod tradition which used to attract thousands of participants and still does at some events today. To find out what still drives people to keep the mod culture alive, I spoke to a few people at the custom show, including one of the event's main organisers. It's not the first scooter rally that we've had in Skegness that we've been involved in, but it's the first one that Dean and I have actually put the campsite on for, right. which is holding it together basically. Yeah. Skegness has always attracted the mods and rockers, so we, we do actually do a rockers weekend as well. So, but. Uh, I like the I like the bikes, the scooters best. <laughs> I think mostly the guys, you know, and the girls that come on the scooters are absolutely fantastic people. You can't beat them, you can't find any nicer people. So it's a real buzz, it's lovely, and Skegness welcome them every year. I ride with the Kingsland Gladiators from Kingsland. So I am actually a member of the Oompa Loompa Scooter Club, as you can see from the figure. <laughs> <laughs> I bought the bike as you see it, almost. And the man who had it never shot. Well, he sold it once or twice, and he put it in his front room. And it was just a, it was built to ride, in my opinion. And I bought that three years ago, and I rode it, and I rode it hard, really hard. Last year we won 21 best in shows. This year we've entered three, we've won three. Getting getting on a little bit now. <laughs> Nearly 50, and I enjoy my skewers as much as Northern Soul. That's my main interest, me. Northern Soul. Scooter comes second. Wife first, I better put that on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so how does Carl feel about his chances in this custom show? She's there as good as anybody else's. She's got a chance. If she wins, she wins. If she don't, she don't. That's just coming and having a great weekend, enjoying the weekend. That's what scootering's all about. While many trends eventually fade away, the mod culture is set to live on in the memories of its old fans and the aspirations of its new fans. But no matter who you are or where you're from, scooter rallies are a way of life.